So I'm excited. Yeah, I think we're gonna have a good match here. Oddly. The one thing with this Demir list into mono red, while I think it's really well positioned for these kind of grindy like greed piles, we see a hand like this, Tainted Indulgence not answering the board, Duress not answering the board. Um, there, there's Siphon Insight, right? Like if, if I'm mono red and my opponent's Siphon Insighting and taking like a, a Phoenix chick from me, like cool, take three right. to the face, take five to the face. So a little this bit not better of a situated hand. Yeah, answer on one, answer on two. I think, wow, well, even with the man, it's a little awkward here because you have to, you can't have turn one and two answers. So a nice curve from mono red could really punish this. Yeah, I so. think this is, you know, playing the shipwreck on, on one is great here. Should hope we can keep up with the tempo. That's all. So Arpuff's actually happy to see Kumano on one. Normally, because it does play make it so the make disappear would counter that creature coming with the cat the token. Uh, but now we're oh, just no seeing... way. Mono red kept one land. All right, so all right, we're we're in good shape here. Yeah. We've got counter spell. We've got cut down for the first flipped Kumano. Uh, we've got Tainted Indulgence plus Removal Spell. Let's see if they've got Phoenix. So not where you want to be. I feel like with the Mono Red deck, one is really important because post-board, they're going to get rid of a lot of these awkward cards. This is also... We have Gix Command, Sideboard. Phoenix. Cut down the etching. It's awesome Tark here. Using it to get some value in there, dealing some damage. Okay. Oh. I think you ditch. Do you want to ditch the duress? Because duress takes that lightning strike out of their hand. <laughs> yeah, I think it's stage here, okay. So playing this mono red deck, I do actually like at times putting two points of damage onto the evasion, especially because there was the lightning strike in hand. It's a good play at your opponent's end step. You strike the invasion. A mm -hmm. little bit of a misplay here. Uh, actually not, sorry. They didn't have the mana up. But if they did have the two mana, they should have waited uh, and killed first to not get it back. Here's the adversary just to be able to play it as a 2-2 blocker on the Kumano. What else do we got? Red's playing top deck. The Demir deck does not have a way to cast Hullbreaker for a couple turns. Yeah. Yeah. Seven drop isn't really where you want to be. And even though Mono Red missed a couple turns. All right, got to hit a few drop off the top here. There's an adversary. All right. So lightning strike, play with fire, all lethal here. Tarkir's lethal. Lots of answers. I still think I would swing here with both. It's like kind of no reason not to. Um, or at least just swing with the etching. Um just to get in that. So I think damage. you just swing with etching. Part of the reason being you've already had two lightning strikes go away. If you could get your opponent to two with the attack, I would. But here, just giving a deck with a lot of removal options, a free uh, block. Mind you, you would sneak two damage in. Okay, so. It's a field of ruin, so we're still dead to any of the burn spells. All right, we go to three. Uh, I think they got another land in hand. Are we going to come back with the whole breaker horror? Are we holding lightning strike? Let's find out. It's crap core time. No lightning strike. Uh -oh. Real quick. 
Tarkir, maybe. All right, Battle of the Lions. So you can't... So the thing is, we've seen at least one adversary be taken. So the adversary is the only haste creature for three damage. Mm -hmm. But you lose the adversary regardless. So I think you attack in here. Yeah, we've taken two, if I was, two adversaries off the Siphon Insights. Yeah. Yep. I think if I was our puffs, I would have held the line there just to kind of, you know, fake it that you had something in hand. It's a one to the bottom. And there's a cut down. Yeah, okay, so maybe a can attack. Of I hope they don't draw adversary that can be kicked. This deals with Phoenix check. Oh! oh. Kumano for the ping. All right. So Kumano all the Flesh Forgers obviously Kumano coming in. Uh, Gix's command can come in because that gains us some life too. Um, don't need Hearst too much. I don't know that I would take out all of the Make Disappears. But I understand what they're doing. Um, I think you want to keep is, some of those. They have so many bad cards in this matchup that they have to. We see like the full four of duress. Mind you, mm -hmm. duress does get better post board. Mono red is likely going to be bringing in. They have access to two Jaya, one Koth, one Chandra uh, as kind of the swap there. So we'll likely see probably like the Warcrafting come out and. Yep. Get, Warcrafting is like a tough one because like you you need it for the the shark and for Lier, it's not really gonna hit a seven mana flesh forger. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think uh, you know all, all some... the planeswalkers are good to to board in here too. Um, whether it's Chandra, Koth, or Jaya, you know typically planeswalkers are good in the long game against control decks. Um, yeah, so we'll see. Honestly, it's probably f four invasion out, four planeswalkers in. Call it a day. Yeah. Oh, no blue, but we have cut down and blot out. So we're going to... We do have blue attainted indulgence, though, for a turn. But this might be a little yeah. rough keeping a two lander. The blot out's an interesting one. Against these, like, low to the ground decks, just not getting, getting the choice is probably not the best. Swifty spear. So they do have to oh no, Ooh. hold that Mirex back. Now we hope that the seed shark resolves, doesn't get deleted from the board. So what might come in handy this game is access to that Nisha's foundry. We mm -hmm. saw at least a cut down be used, but go for the throat being the other card. Oh, we drew the Flesh Gorger. I think I prefer Love going that. Seed Shark. Because the thing is, Flesh Gorger, like from Mono Red's perspective, you gladly take three life. Uh, Lightning Strike kills it, where the Chrome Shark at least gets a block in, and you don't necessarily need to block. Uh, mm -hmm. There's only two, and the Hero's Warcrafting, which could answer it. But it looks like they don't have the answer here. Um, a big thing will be access to the Skix command. Yeah, I think 100% play the Seed Shark here. If it doesn't die, the Skix's command puts you so far ahead. Um, just to cast it on five, yeah. blow up the Swift Spear, counters on the Seed Shark. Yeah, the you. big thing there is counters on the Seed Shark. Yeah. No, like your instinct is put the counters on Flesh Gorger. Okay, Barrage comes in. Oof. Mono, so a nice chunk of damage. So what, seven Inch. total? Oh, Gix's command still kind of good here. <laughs> still good to cast on five, eliminate the yeah. Swiss Spears. Can even use the mode to get um, the Seed Shark back to hand if you want, but I think the counters and destroy is, is great. Yeah, 
the problem is with mono red any damage they're kind of pushing out is just kind of getting nullified yeah i mean mono red sees it awesome. all right so while we go to sideboarding uh folks in chat we are giving away four giveaways for some secret lair codes uh, so if you are looking to upgrade your decks with the the sweetest cosmetics, type in pizza into the chat now. Yeah, get them secret layer codes. Thank you, uh, by the way, to one of our sponsors, mtgacodes.com, uh, for the awesome secret layer codes for us to be able to give away today. Yeah. So if you, have Carlo, you can't already, type pizza, type pizza we're, we're not chat. eligible for this context for this contest. Alrighty. So terrible hand going into mono red. Yeah, I got to mulligan this. Unless they think Tain and indulgence is going to get them there, but I, I right. think I would mulligan that. Oh, oh flesh gorger. Or you just That's drop. <laughs> we see it immediately <laughs> highlighting that flesh gorger. Our puffs is telling us uh, we did not have faith. So opting to use adversary here, um, becoming a three three is big because it dodges a cut down that turn. Mm -hmm. So it was really the only answer they could have. Where Swiss Spear, for example, Phoenix Chick. Uh, all would have gotten hit. Let's see if they do a little. Well, there's Kumano. Okay. I was I was hoping to see a Chandra on three. We're doing no, good here. Six damage choosing... coming across. See, do they have an answer? Little lightning strike, maybe. Oh, obliterating bolt. Yep, that exiles it. Do we have another Phoenix check on one? Nope. All right. I think this is That's a GG, be GG. Unfortunately. That blows that up. And then we've got our etchings and phoenix chick left over another flipped etchings for an easy five damage here yeah and if you're our puffs this is probably the last matchup you, you some really good medicals i think for the grindier yeah. decks but just not well equipped i think for this mono red matchup too many dead cards make sure to follow and uh get notifications when he is live while the tournaments happen every week hollywood does do a bunch of regular streams playing a bunch of formats also make sure i'm gonna say it but follow carlo c uh on twitch uh, if you want to catch some more standard gameplay yeah and then of course don't forget to follow our friend mtg joe here as well for some awesome content over on their channel all right, All jumping right, into the game here. Up. We got... We've got Thirst for The nice thing though. is this. Ooh. The nice thing with this matchup is we have three turns where we can just keep talking and nothing happens. Yeah, yeah, the it's turn, true. The game starts on turn three. Now, we don't have a counter spell for the turn four play here, but we do have Thirst for Discovery and Memory Deluge. Oh, and that finds Teferi and Farmhand, or Teferi plus Land. It's pretty good. Plus side is if, you know, Nuba is able to ramp out into an Atraxa quickly. Uh, we do have this Ossification that's at the ready. Um, also have the ability to draw more cards with Thirst for Discovery. Trying to find a hard counter spell for their cards. So a big thing in this kind of format of tournament, it is open deck list. So coming into this match, you know what your opponent is on. So that informs some of your 
uh, game one mulligan decisions, where on the ladder you're pretty much like, okay, in, at least in standard, there's no companions, so you can't take a guess. At least, you know, historic, you see Jengantha, okay, maybe it's Zack or something like that. You see Alluris, okay, I'm going to need creature removal. Uh, in this format, you're kind of taking a guess. But here, you know, uh, as Nuba, well, I don't want, you know, a handful of ossifications against the counterspell deck. And mm -hmm. similarly, like, a hand about a targeted removal, you probably want your counter spells uh, from Eyelid's side. Well, when we see this Archangel of Wrath uh, coming down to take care of that Teferi and the Spirit token, um, but we've got, you know, a couple big plays coming through from Eyelid's here, searching us up some lands, getting them out of the deck, leaving us with a memory delusion so in the graveyard. So interesting line side. there. While obviously eyelids, we from our vantage point, we know they had no answer on the stack for Atraxa, and currently none in hand, opting to just go shields down, as opposed to you know bluffing. You sometimes see the gamesmanship on Arena where they hold full control, put stops on every step just to uh, to mess with them. Yeah. Oh, here's a sunfall. So. We can't cast it this turn. Traxa but... hit pretty well. Yeah, they hit Leyline Binding, um, the Herd Migration, and Invasion. What looks to be Celestis. Let me yeah. make sure that that is, Cele that is Celestis. Okay. Yeah, their, the land. their list is instead of the Realm Breaker, they're playing the line of Celestis. Just uh, mm. access to a fifth turn three ramp spell. Yeah, they're going to ramp it. It Again. can draw you cards. It's pretty good. So opting to not commit any more to the board. Likely the case. We might see the Celestis come down as well. Or even opting to just have access to the Myrex. Myrex, yeah. Notably, though, this lets you also play line binding, right? Case yes. It. So full value. Oof. One, two, so, three, four, five. five. So part of the reason for folks who are tuning in and saying, well, Islands is playing blue white control. Why do they have a Bant land, an Esper land, whatever it may be? Um, because those lands are the basic land types. So in this case, Island Forest Plains. Uh, notably, Plains is the condition for laydown arms. So mm -hmm. it provides access to dual land, uh, which late game can be cycled uh, if you kind of flood, but also increases the laydown arms count. So try to help you mm -hmm. get to, in this case, seven mana to hit the Atraxas. And the cycle is huge for control decks um, because you know you get a lot of the time where, hey, I'm searching up these lands with the farm hand, uh, keeping some lands in my hand from our draw spells, You know, just being able to cycle late game to find answers is always great too. So opting to not sunfall last turn, going down to six life. We've seen one Archangel of Wrath come down already, but three more in the deck. That is direct damage from the deck mm -hmm. there. And there's an Ossification and Eternal Wanderer, two great hits off of the Deluge. Um, or could choose not to take the Ossification, right? Because they know that... Um, Opponent does have ley line binding. Yeah, okay. So maybe even just taking the thirst for discovery mm -hmm. plus eternal wanderer is great. Yeah. And notably, um, there is still one ossification in the list. So one, two. Interesting. One, two, three, four, five. So going for the ossification here. Now, it does have Ottawara. Oh, I guess they have Ottawara. Yeah. So can bounce in case the Ley Nine Binding comes down to get the Atraxa back. But I still think I may have cast Sunfall. Now, Eyelids might have been worried about um, Nuba having... I don't There's know. There's no counter spells main, right? Think. Only on the sideboard. Yeah. 
Yeah, only counter spells. The big thing too, this allows the Atraxa to dig deeper to potentially find the Pazeju in the deck. Mm -hmm. So that's another answer to these enchantment based removal spells. So now we just see like the ley line. There's Itali. What are we going for here? Little Merrick's to make the tokens. Double token here. Okay. That was all on instep. So. Yeah. Yeah, it's so now at this point going to have to Ottawara back the Atraxa. Probably block at least one token. Unless they want to take two. And a minor thing here. We also see like not sun falling that turn. They would have been able to make a 3-3 at least. Here they're just opting to take the damage. Yeah. So they are an Archangel of Wrath zone. Hmm. Oh, and there it is. Speaking of the Archangel. All right, we're going to game two. Why too close to the sun? You get burned. Jeez. All right, so what do so we bring in here? those auspications came out real quick. I'm guessing Disdainful and the Realm Breaker we saw do work last game. Yeah. True. I actually think I would trim maybe one copy or two cop or it's it's tough with make this appear. It's it's so like you want it in your opener, you hate to draw it late. They do have right. the um, the draw three discard effect to kind of cycle through uh, thirst for mm -hmm. discovery to kind of set that up. Alrighty, so. All right, Joe, I'm going to be right back. Somebody's knocking. Be right back. Yep. So again, folks, if you're tuning in, I uh, just right now catching this top eight coverage. Um, myself, Cabrera, uh, Carlo, and Hollywood Pizza are all going to be taking part this upcoming Thursday in the early access event for the new Lord of the Rings set. So if you want to catch coverage of it, uh, both Hollywood and Carlo will do it on their respective Twitch channels. And you can catch it on my YouTube channels. We'll do VODs and some live streams directly there. So if you want to see the new Lord of the Rings uh, cards in initial action, uh, make sure to check it out on Thursday. Lots of cool cards from the set to try out. Um, and as we kind of wait for sideboarding here, uh, just remember if you haven't done so already, follow the channel, use your Amazon Prime, all free and easy ways. Uh, I'm going to quickly get my coffee as we kind of pull into this. All righty. So Hollywood doesn't let us have food or drinks. He says we work for free and we have to uh, be strapped to our chairs. Raid is coming in. Thank you. Thank you for the raid. So we are just waiting to queue up. The Nerdy Steve with the Raid, thank you for the community. Welcome. We are covering the final four of the Pizza Box Open Slice of Standard. And uh, hopefully everyone from Steve's stream had a great time there. And uh, you're in for a good one. We have a nice mix of decks here. My co-host for today I'm is back. back from the Shadow Realm. All right, looks like, like we got a good start with Ivan here, huh? The Realm Breaker secret tech card for the for this matchup. That's awesome. All right, let's see. see. We got Realm Breaker. Are we going to play it, or are we going to hold up for the Thirst for Discovery? Oh, thank you again to the Nerdy Steve for the raid. Huge raid, thank you. Okay, so we see the counter spell. 
come down, topiary stomper. So a cool line with these ramp decks is uh, topiary stomper into turn four uh, invasion of Zendikar. Play a land from hand, gets you to your seven lands. Then you can attack with topiary stomper, potentially flip the battle. Uh, so it's a real kind of mana surge. Uh, mm -hmm. You go from, you know, turn four, you have access to four lands into suddenly eight lands. All right, aggro on the farm hand. There we go. I think we're in the so advantage here. We've got double down. counter spell, and we've got this memory deluge. So if they play invasion here, that's a good make disappear. What have they got? Oh, Archangel. All right. Well, that's easy choice. That was I actually kicked. think you let that resolve, and you just dig for the the lions since you have access to sunfall mm -hmm. you could um you know downside is you probably are taking some damage in the next turn like i don't know if i would cast sunfall on five there then you leave them open to this invasion so you know a couple options here we could straight up counter this with the make disappear so we don't lose value or let it resolve and ramp equally. Um, oh, not equally. Minus one with the Realm Breaker to try to hit another land. Which would set us up for a That's nice sunfall turn. My, my thought in it is turn like six mana is not the concern point. It's seven mana in this deck. Mm -hmm. So you that kind of force them because their turn would have been the invasion. Mm -hmm. Now you're kind of forced into your make disappear. It probably was the counter spell there with make disappear with casualty, mm -hmm. I think, because now this is just not going to counter anything. Land herd migration Sorry. sunfall. Okay, so it gives us an additional planes. Perfect. So that gives us sunfall mana plus hold up make disappear. So in case they do have a traxa, we might be able to hit it as long as they don't play an untapped land. Don't think we play to fairy. Always. It's always funny, these five-color decks with, like, all basics. Looks like a greedy draft deck. <laughs> I don't know about you, but when I draft, all my draft decks are greedy. Each and every one. So opting to keep Farmhand around for that casualty kick, if needed. Eyelids does have an option of Deluge, if needed. So if... Nuba decides I'm not committing anymore. Okay, so there's that big land, the Myrex. We've seen it put in its work today. Mm -hmm. So one thing, does Nuba have access to the Wandering Emperor in the side? You sometimes see it out of these decks. No. Nuba is not playing Wandering Emperor. Playing the sweet Tyrannix Rex instead, which is great. Love to see it. Already, well, we have either. our first result in Demir Midrange beating up on Mono Red with a quick 2 0. Oh, man. Can we see it? Can we get the control mirror? Oh, so we can flip up the incubator here and casualty to counter this Atraxa. Does Sun this resolve? Put in and work. Uh, no access to blue mana from Nuba's side. All right, we're good then. This sets up for a nice, like, Teferi minus turn. Gets us a blocker on the Myrex token. Oh, no. Just strong so cards. Okay. Opting. Oof. All right. Lithamentor Barrage deals with the Teferi. We have five mana up, so we could Thirst plus Realm Breaker. 
wouldn't be terrible unless they want to save the thirst for the second fairy. Could work in a pinch. Interesting. They could have done it this turn as well. There's the Mara the fairy. Just to yeah, keep I'm surprised they didn't make the, the token last turn. I think would have made the token. Because the token could have been at least a 5-5 with this thirst for it that's in hand. Well, even just keeping the Teferi alive. Barrage was dealing 5 damage. Teferi could have put 3 more loyalty counters on it. Mm -hmm. Teferi puts loyalty through draw. Here we go. Let's see if they make the token this time. Yeah. Unless they want to cast Sunfall here, but I don't, I don't think I would. No. With the Gonjo in hand, you eat up this uh, Topiary Stomper. Mm -hmm. And it might incentivize them taking out the token here. You have two answers. Destroy Evil also deals with it, but I feel like you want to hold the Destroy Evil for either like a Leyline Binding, hitting your Teferi, or a Traxa. Oh, speaking of, here's our Leyline Binding. Optimus, so I, got I do like that down. line there. Yeah. No value. Oof. And the Lithomantic mm -hmm. Barrage. Now, this does bring the ramp player brings Nuba down to one card in hand. So we could do this. We could take out the Stomper, and then we can make a token and end step to the Myrex, unless they want to ramp with Realm Breaker. Probably. I think you make the token over the Realm Breaker, because if, well, you're probably not Sun Falling anyways at this point. Mm-hmm. Will that hit a ley line binding, the stainful oh. stroke, and an invasion of Zendikar? So opting through all these turns to take the uh, planes-based triomes again for the, the lay down arms. Lay down arms. Oh, there's a seed shark, and probably just take the sunfall because I assume make disappear is going to have no value at this point. They have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven lands out. Or could just opt to take the, the actually, Spars headquarters yeah. for future draw card. Nothing seems great. <laughs> yeah. Might be able to make a little comeback Eyelids with the Seed Shark, though. Yeah, Eyelids needs the one of uh, Ginger Taxis to tutor with this uh, Realm Breaker. That's for sure. Oof, and here comes the Archangel. That's going to take care of the Seed Shark. Opting to blow up the Archangel to get an Incubator token. Which is nice, because it can flip that up to even block one of these tokens if they really want. Yeah. I wonder if Nuba still forces in. It does take them off a Realm Breaker trigger. Uh, the one thing I'd be interested to see that we can't, because, you know, Wizards won't give us a client mode, is uh, cards in deck. Oh, Island right. has been milling. For uh, three, you know, four Couple cards turns. a turn cycle at minimum. Oh, and there's an Eternal Wanderer. That's huge. Is that Disdainful Struck? Thank God. I think we just start making two twos. That lets us also swing this turn with the Incubate token if they want. Or just keep up two blockers, safe too. This turn. Oh, the never-ending Archangel of Wraths. Well, this blows up both tokens. Kind of surprised we didn't see the cycle before the resolution there, just in case for a counterspell. Yeah. Obviously didn't matter, but based on the outcome. So that's gone. That token's gone. They can attack the Emperor for two, or just come straight for the face. Uh, but it looks like Sun Sunfall might be on the menu for this next turn. It yeah, gets rid of three creatures. Myrex. I do think Mill is going to be the, the win condition for Eyelids this game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 
Yeah, Sun's so only get these out of here. Then we can continue to make tokens off of the Eternal Wanderer. And we're good. We got option to flip up, make token, plus Realm Breaker for the next turn. Two, five, six, they seven, do eight, draw the nine, binding. Ten. The destroy evil's big. Oh, okay. off yep. the top of the deck, we find the Atraxa. <laughs> All right, million three in response. 20 cards, good. so 17. Good. Hit an angel, which is nice. So it's 17, and then minus whatever they draw here. Herd migration. Bezeju. Oh, there's a Tyrannix Rex. But the Bezeju is big against this Realm Breaker because you take out all their... Because Islet side, they're like cool to just chill. Yeah. Even just blinking at tracks every turn gets him a bunch of card advantage, but Took that's four huge. Cards from that. One of them being the Tyrannix Rex. Oof. And we got to save the Destroy of Level for the Tyrannix Rex here, because that's lethal this turn. If they could, they can't play it, right? One, two, three. Okay, next turn it's lethal. Just from the poison side. I think it's lethal from poison and damage side. We've had double lethal a couple times on stream today. Oof. Get rid of the token. Very wisely targeting the tokens with these leyline bindings just to get no value. Yeah. All right, flip this up. All right. Now, will they Besage use the Besage you to hit the incubator? I think so. Yeah. A little aggressive. But I guess you're at the point where you're just saying have an answer for everything, but you know, a sweeper off the top. I, I think the safer line is taking like you're more of a risk to to mill out here. Well, there's an Ottawara. That's pretty good. That lets them mill with Realm Breaker. They can destroy evil on the Atraxa. I'm sorry, destroy evil on the Tyrannix Rex and bounce Atraxa back to the hand. And then Atraxa cannot be cast this turn. But they do have they enough to make a Tyrex token. And they will be at eight poison. Eight poison. Yeah. Almost accidentally click the enchantment mode. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, so one Tyrannix Rex is down. Can't recast the Traxa. Take one. Go to four and eight poison. Will Realm Breaker get us there? Oh, oh there's an attack. That's big. Oh, man. Realm Breaker, See, one, I, two, like, three. I, I, Six I think... cards left in deck for Nuba. This is where I think you should have taken out the Realm Blaker with the Besaju. Yeah. Like, they went a little aggro there when they didn't need to. It's going to be lethal if Nuba drew a counter spell here. Nuba has so do you Traxa? We don't know if it's in the graveyard, though. Like, do you Traxa first? To hit that counter, but do we see it? Okay, it resolves. All right, makes a token. So this is a little bit riskier of a line because if they did have an instant speed ley line, which yeah. again, this is the stuff we can't really see because we can't look through their graveyard right now. There's the Traxa. Okay. Do they take any cards with the Traxa or just click no? <laughs> Because they got to find an answer for Atraxa this turn. Because they've got five cards left in deck. They can mill three. Will th Realm Breaker. Yeah. So this is the time. Oh, they okay. took the Rex. One, two, three. Which is fine. Four, they mill, Four, five, they mill three. They draw the last card for turn. So there, Nuba is basically like, I win next turn or I lose next turn. Oof. And if so you're all islands, islands you're shake around like, that deserted beach. 
you were hoping one more cycle, whatever it may have been. That puts you back to five, but we're dead. GG's. Unless, you know, Nuba chooses not to attack. Unlikely. Zero cards left in deck. This Tyrannix Rex is coming down. And the deal has been sealed, unfortunately, for eyelids. But still, still great showings. Awesome job, eyelids. Congrats, Nuba. Looking for the latest comic book to add to your collection? How about the last card for that Magic the Gathering Commander deck? Well, the comic book stores got you covered. Shop online at comicbookstore.tcgplayerpro.com or come in person at 30 North Main Street, Glassboro, New Jersey. This video is brought to you by MagicJank.com, the spiciest cards for your sauciest decks. Buy and sell Magic the Gathering products and gear today on MagicJank.com. Pizza people, are you enjoying the content? Don't forget, subscribe to the channel. It's free. Hit that bell icon as well. That way, anytime any of our new content comes out, you're able to see it right away. Hey, leave a comment down below as well. Tell us what you're going to play in the next event. Or tell us what you're enjoying about the video. Don't forget, check out the description too. We've got tons of great content down below. And on top of that, we're going to have our tournament schedule too. So get in on it. Hope to see you. All right, looks like we're jumping into our finals match here. So we've got the five color ramp uh, piloted by Nuba versus Demir Midrange by Janik. Let's see, who do you think is getting this one? Uh, I called Demir, so let's see. All right, all right. Well, we don't have a terrible hand here for the ramp deck. Solo. Domain is on for Leyline Binding next turn. Yep. So let's just play this Proving Ground, and that also allows for us to play turn three Topiary Stomper off the basic planes. I think I would wait to see if they pump the Evolve Sleeper, though forecasting this but it's always an interesting dance yeah so it opens them up to this graveyard trespasser just as a little value engine for three so good start uh this does allow the the line where we described so as the demir player you want to attack the trespasser but obviously the invasion line. Uh, this list does have access to some Lilianas, so even a Liliana down tick here is not terrible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Liliana would but be I great here. Thing Shielder, thing. that's okay. Uh, this is a free three damage plus the two from the draw. But we do have this line where can cast now the invasion, play the land that gets its seven lands for the next turn, either a Tali or a Traxa. Um, now the Demir deck does have, you know, go for the throat, has Shieldred's Edict, um, is playing four of Make Disappear that we haven't seen yet this game. So, and two Urtai, and two Urtais. which we have to worry about. Mm -hmm. So, I think the big thing is even just answering Atraxa or Itali on the stack. Okay, so Itali could come down here. As could Atraxa. I think... So you need Atraxa for the life... I think for Itali. But Itali could have hit double removal spell. I think. Yeah, I think I prefer Itali. This line... So it has a higher payoff if provided that they don't have a removal option. But they did just use an Edict. Mind you, Edict wouldn't have really hit a track set anyways if they still had the stomper out. Mm -hmm. Do they have the answer? Oh. So let's see. If you block the trespasser, you take four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Which is dead. I think you have to block shadow. Shadow so if you would block be a shadow, you take seven. You gain seven, you upkeep Same go three. down to one, but you can set your upkeep trigger and then ley line binding. K 
can't block Shieldred. Has, or you could. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Trade, gain 7, die. Nope, gotta block the shadow. Because of the pump. Yeah. But this also requires, you know, Janik pumping the full way here for this trade, which pretty sure is still very good for them. It also exiles the Atraxa. Um, and then I think your plan of Leyline binding. Oh, we didn't set a stop. Or you just draw another Atraxa. Yeah. <laughs> Can even land plus Atraxa. But honestly, I think you play like Itali Leyline binding here and try to hit, or or Itali first, and try to hit double removal spell. And then answer yeah. the shield. Do you grid. think you play it? You just got to make sure you don't get auto-tapped out of this. Okay, you're fine. Yeah. Or got to hope opponent doesn't have second shielded. Because that would mean you're dead. Just maybe thinking to gain some life mm -hmm. here. I don't know. Maybe it is safer to kill the uh, graveyard glutton now. Discard like invasion plus land, and then hold the ley line binding up for the shield dread. You just lose two cards in your hand, but it's fine. Hmm. Or you know, could choose to blow up the invasion of Zendikar and get another four four. But I'm I'm pretty sure killing the graveyard glutton is a fine play here. This is double discard off ward, though. Mm -hmm. So if we hit basic land, maybe the invasion. Yep. So it puts us back at five. And then you might as well lay line binding now. It gets rid of the shield grid, and they don't gain life. I don't think the life gain's too relevant, necessarily. Like, if you're going to win this, you're probably just going to win it. I don't think mm -hmm. two points. Oh, just oh so and a concession. There. Well, at 25 life. Okay. All right. Our next game. Um, what are we bringing in here from the ramp side? Pretty sure. So probably. Uh, definitely the Tyrannix Rexes, because that can't be countered. Um, can bring in maybe some Disdainful Strokes. To deal with uh, Shieldred from the Demir deck, think... Urtai. That's all it would hit. I don't think you bring in the strokes. Like, you just answer Shieldred and it comes down. Because mm -hmm. you're going to be stuck with it probably more in hand. I actually think this ramp deck's pretty well situated main board. Uh, what you may want, just looking at the curve, now even temporary lockdown's not that great against them. So the Rex, like you mentioned, uh, Perhaps a Vanquish the Horde, if you just want to pull up and be a little bit more control-oriented. Norm yeah. doesn't do too much. Nissa as well. So Nissa, you could just keep making tokens that yep. just block well. I, I think it's less of a minus Nissa and just like, you know, every turn here's a five, like a five, five, six, six, seven, seven, right. overrun you. So we see the Nissa just not make it past the short list. I don't think we've, so Stone Brain coming in. Stone brain for like the stainful stroke. Yeah, I might give even thought to bringing in the one of the temporary lockdown just because it deals with the shadow, the tenacious underdog, and the evolve sleeper. Uh, but you got to get to turn three <laughs> for that. So I don't know. I don't know how much it's worth it to play that one of because they don't exactly have a yeah. way to deal with the enchantment either. Yeah, but on the flip side, then they also just have, like, they could have underdog out there on the play. So it's like you answer two things, but mm -hmm. I feel so kind of an important line here. Do you want to set up the ley line binding, but ultimately unable to just given the configuration of triumphs? Well, that's a pretty good draw in ossification. We'd have to play the planes, though. If they wanted to do that. Yeah, they don't have black mana for the lane line binding, or that would be an easy, easy choice. I think ultimately they take the damage, try to just 
because the, the underdog is something that could be hit by Archangel of Wrath, mm -hmm. you're okay. And we can always, you know, cycle the herd migration, gain the life back. Yeah. That lets us get a basic swamp too. So that notably, black source. Janik, our player Ooh. at the top, did miss a line drop. So I'm curious to see, is a shield your they name? Is it the counter spells? This could be make disappear. Could make disappear, sack in the tenacious underdog. I, I really don't know what they're fighting over with the stone brain. There's not like a key card. It's not like you're hitting a track so. Yeah, I mean, if if you are scared of shield rid, you could hit that. Um, you know, might not be bad to name like Misery Shadow or Liliana. Liliana's typically okay against these ramp decks, unless they already have a resolved um, Atraxa. But this is interesting. So Demir is behind on land drops also. So it's possible that the ramp deck can just run away with this. I mean, like, it seems like if my opponent wants to spend the whole turn to take two to four cards out of my deck, because, like, yeah. now they've also gotten rid of their pressure. So, like, you've removed your own threat. Do we get a disconnect? Mm. Not like no, this. No, stuff's moving around. Yeah. All right, we passed. We get to hold up this leyline binding. We've got a possible archangel plus one the next turn, but it looks like the lands being on the back burner here from the Demir deck is going to be very difficult to overcome. Might even consider just playing like the Archangel into a possible counter spell to resolve Atraxa. But uh, we're good here. That eats a card. Do we bind in? And if you bind in, then just discard the basic island. It's probably even just Sparrows, so you can kick the Archangel. Mm, yeah. Depends how slow. Like from Nuba's side, I think to your point, you do want to start putting some pressure on them. Like if, mm -hmm. if they start hitting their line There's drops. Traxa. Yeah, I would even just Archangel kicked once and say, okay, deal with this, or we're going to have this flyer the rest of the game. Um, and maybe it causes them to tap out to where we can resolve a Traxa. And by that time, it should be game over. We saw Janik concede last game at 25 life. They're at 14, so. Yeah. How many counters he got? Let's make disappear. Yep. To add insult to injury, their only blue source is a pain line. Oof. Yeah, I don't think I'm even trying to play this other attack, so I'm just attacking for three of return and passing <laughs> until they, they tap out for something. Yeah, here's her tie. Well, out of any answer, at least that. it draws you a card. So probably see the attack from mm. so Janik stabilizing. There's a land start cycling. Man. All right, Forest yeah, Pass. Like you just take the three. <laughs> Oof. If you're a Demir player here, you must just be smiling. You've uh, gotten through two Atraxas. There's a Lily. And now Lily's... Negative. Discard this as far as headquarters, unless you're going to cycle in response. I think you see what's the better of your two options. And that's Ooh, one, that's two, the better of the two three, options. Five, six, seven. Yep. And uh, do they have an answer to resolve? Yeah, so they, they could, could have, have the counter spell up. 
Could have another make disappear if they kept them all in. They do have access to Gix command, but I don't know if you necessarily... Oh, Actually, Gix command is probably not terrible. Gix command forces them to sack their Atraxa. Are we going to see a Lily ult this game? There's the Myrex. Like, yeah, we got the Myrex. We've got this underdog that's going to blitz. We take six. It's going to draw the Demir deck of card. Look at that level of competence. Discard, go for the throat. Beautiful. Oh, uh, I think you have to double kick at the Lily or you have to sack the Archangel. Yep. All right, so that gains you four life back. If, if there's another removal spell in hand, obviously getting rid of the go for the throat. Oh. Interesting to opt for Edict over a go for the throat, just having the flexibility to target something. There's a duress. There's the skin and blitzed again. Six more damage. Draw a card. Can the ramp deck, top deck, Atraxa, to or Itali here? Oh, oh, there it is. Slot machine, go. Here we go. Ossification and a disdainful stroke. That takes care of the Liliana that is convincingly on two. Oof. What a draw. Is that a removal spell? Ottawa. We get to blitz this in. Go to three. Archangel of Wrath off the top for lethal kick. Can we do it? Oh, and then it tracks off the top. Hello? No, I would I would click hello there. Uh <laughs> oh my goodness. There's the ley line by This is the moment when the page heard my show your hand take the mirror. Don't forget play. the mirror, please. There we go. Draw five cards. Slam that Merrick's down. We can gain life with the herd migration. Nope, I ain't casting another damn thing. Pass. <laughs> there might be argument to cast the Topiary Stomper to protect against a, uh, I don't know, another Edict. Let's see if that's... Yeah, but you could also just make a Myrex token in response. Uh, Actually, no, Myrex is... Non-token yeah. is the downside. Yeah, yeah. As it came out of my mouth, I'm like, actually, yeah. Joe. What do they have? Anything? I mean, Itali into tracks is the way to catch up out of this game. Well, away. Seven mana spell. <laughs> Win the game. Yeah, that's a and G. That's it. G. All right, so Nuba X with five color ramp is our winner today.